life. Ugh, you just send help. Send help. Send help. Send help as a form of money. Like, just send help. Just. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walk. today's video i wanted to thank you guys because we are at 300 subscribers and yay yay yay, yay. <laughs> okay so i'm so happy for this like milestone i've always wanted to like reach at least 250 subscribers before the end of 2020 and it happened and for it to like um reach up to 300 subscribers at the beginning of um february which is like the end of january i'm just like <sighs> Thank you so much guys because honestly I know currently most of my content is not really appealing and it's just like it's not what I want to put out there but you guys don't subscribe and it's just like my you guys are just too kind or yeah you're just kind so so thank you thank you so much and it's just like that is like the whole purpose of this video I'm trying to like explain to you guys what's up like why like I don't have like any consistency currently and I don't have like and I don't think it's gonna be happening uh, in the near future. Like I feel like there are few things that need to be uh, changed first for me to like get my channel into the normal routine that I wanted it to be. So yeah, hence this video. So uh, <laughs> hi guys, hi. For those who just joined, my name is Precious Palmasemi. I am 23 years old. Why did I just second guess my age? Like, wow, okay. I am 23 years old and I, I live in Botswana, Habroni. So, yeah, welcome. If you want to join, please subscribe if you are interested in some of the content that I will be producing in the future, which I will, I promise, I will come up with something, you know, if things go right. And, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. So, uh, to just, like, uh, start today's uh, video, I don't want it to be too long. Like, honestly, I don't want it to be too long, even under 20 like under 10 will be better like i don't want to do it too long so the general purpose of this video i'm trying to give you like some updates on what's been going on with my channel i'm trying to give you guys some updates on, on updates on why i haven't been consistent and i might not be consistent in the future and how everything is being affected and this like uh the content i wanted to do you know the, the whole thing the whole thing like yeah so how do you start um okay oh yeah so uh, if you have noticed i started not to be consistent around uh around december and the thing is around that time i was really fed up with like sit down videos i think around november due to like to towards december i was really tired i was fed up with sit down videos and that was not what i intended to do initially when i started this channel and i was never going to go down that route like in the long run so i really wanted to like start the videos that i have planned which is mostly uh, kind of like what, what 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 was happening then, which was like around November December, uh, my waitressing um, job. There was like some activities happening, like you know, we were coming to the club and stuff like that. You know, liquorice. I work I work at liquorice. So I was hoping to like um, give you guys like updates on like morning routines. You know, uh, a day in the life of a waitress. Um, you know, just like the whole vibe, like give you guys videos that I have to do with my waitressing job, and that was like the time I was paying for that. And I was just like, uh, two weeks I think I went on for two, three weeks saying, you know what, I'm not gonna post unless it's this kind of content because honestly, I just need to get out there. And I did post one video, and unfortunately, some of the clips were deleted, so I needed to like redo it. And just when I was about to reach to like start shooting the content that I wanted, like the, the content. Uh, the um, government uh, decided to like put us on curfew, so uh, we had to close, to, totally close because mostly our customers came around evening. So that was like around the time when curfew starts. So it's just like our place had to shut down because of that. So unfortunately, that meant that I can't be doing um, the content that I wanted to do, which is like mostly waitressing videos. And at the same time, I was I was 
um planning on doing some you know outfits videos where i collaborate with my favorite designer neo if you know her you like if you have seen in some of my videos my friend now she's a designer i was uh willing to collaborate in, with her with some in, in some of the videos and unfortunately i couldn't as well because it's just like mostly i needed to like pop in some money to get like material and stuff like that there was just like a lot of um a lot of expenses you know not like a lot but you know every expenses had to be spared so unfortunately i couldn't do that as well because around the time that i you know couldn't work anymore it was around the time i was thinking oh, you know for the future plan i have to pay rent my savings have to go to rent have to go to this so i couldn't like uh i had to like put my priorities priorities right and i couldn't spend quite on like uh wants instead of need i needed to like go for needs instead of one thing so yeah that content was cut out also so i was like you know what so what was the plan pearl so it's just like okay fine back to like sit down videos and child when I tell you life, life doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want you to get up sometimes. <laughs> like I was planning to just be like, okay, it's December, let me just do like some kind of a vlogmas. Like it's almost Christmas, let me do something. And those are the time I wasn't going to work so that I had a lot of time in my hands. So uh, unfortunately around the, um, after Christmas, I started developing like some symptoms. And honestly, uh, initially I was thinking um, it was just like, uh, like some of the... TV, whatever, like TV trying to like, you know, say, you know what, bitch, I used to have you, so this is me back in your life, blah, 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 something like that. I honestly thought I was just having like the aftermath of like my whole journey with TV, because I did have TV for those who have watched other videos. I, you know, it's a whole thing. So I was thinking because I had chest pains, I had like headaches here and there and stuff like that. And I was just assuming it was that. Until it got really bad and I noticed my boyfriend started having the same symptoms as well. And I was just like, uh, okay, this guy hasn't had TV. So uh, it means I have to check out if it's just like something else, which is what we know is just like, I had to check if it was COVID. So I did go to test and uh around the time when i i tested first and he was like no i'm not gonna test it looks painful blah 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 i was like okay fine you will wait for me to come up with the results but honestly if i have it you might help me so, uh, 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 so honestly so yeah it happened that i did get my results and they turned out to be positive and around the time when i got my results i remember my boyfriend threw up sometime mm, i think maybe two days before i got my results and when he started throwing up i was just like yeah i know it's, it's, it's a wrong child there's nothing else and that meant that i won't be filming like i couldn't film because uh they got worse over time like the symptoms they got worse over the, like um as the days went on and i was just like there's no way i would say i want to shoot a video or maybe like exercise or do something and it didn't work out and um to like summarize my whole experience with like uh the the infection is it an infection or whatever uh, yeah whatever that is to, to like summarize my 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 experience with covid i i at first it wasn't as bad like i would have like the normal symptoms the headache you know puking you know dizziness and all that and yeah they, were, they felt bad but i was just like it can't get worse like you know I, I was able to bear them. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would. But um, I'm sure you like towards the end, um, which is like my day 10 or 11, like that's around the time they expect the virus to have gone and they get you out of the quarantine. So uh, like that was the time I expected that I was about to leave the quarantine. I'm pushing that's the time I got really worse. And that was the time I just started to like not breathe well and just like suffocate when I'm sleeping and stuff like that. And that was the time I was just, like really, really scared and I didn't know what to do. And child, I really hate when you're going through something and out of nowhere, human beings try just like to try your patience. Cause honestly, towards the end of mm, mm, this whole thing, I was thinking that I was about to get healed. And then um, I'm starting to like not breathe well, have you know complication with my breathing patterns because it was just as if like the, i had like this amount of space inside my like my my lungs or so i was like so somewhere down there like down, down my windpipe it was really as if i had like this amount of space to breathe like as if like if i feel in air this is the amount i'm feeling in and then this amount i'm exhaling like it really felt like i was suffocating and around that time i called uh the paradigmatic paramedics yeah called the paramedics to come help me out because the whole time i was quarantined at home i tried to get like some i did take like a few medications and like remedies that would help 
but at that time I, I realized that I really got to like uh, get to the hospital because you know at this point I didn't I didn't know what was happening to me and just to like you know I just I need to get this off my chest honestly we just met with the worst paramedic ever that lady came around it was at night and my boyfriend unfortunately was going through the same thing she came in around at night and she was like um the first thing she did she took me temperature like literally from here like that's what that's when you know what is about to go down here how do you take somebody's temperature from here like i do know what at at, at, at at shops they do that and stuff like that but don't tell me you're a professional like a medical professional and just like take my temperature from here you know no like at least tie the neck that's where you can get the the the, the, the actual temperature of somebody and she didn't even care to look at it the the, 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 the temperature like the the thing the the thermometer was not even working like she did this and it went tick, 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 and she didn't even get the ready or anything she would look at us straight us in the eye and she was like uh you know I lo i'm looking at you and like, like i'm not seeing people who are suffocating right now like you, you can't be telling me what you can't breathe because i'm looking at you and you guys are fine this lady did not care to take our vitals or anything like that she just looked at us and she was like you know what uh covid is serious you can't be telling me you're going through shit while well, i'm looking at you and i feel like you're and that was like <laughs> That was the highlight for me, child. I was just so pissed. And I felt like um, if anything that could be done in our country trying to like tackle this disease, they need to like make sure that the actual people who reach to reach out to patients, they need to have a little bit of, I don't know, professionalism. Like if it's professionalism or human kindness, like this are there. Because that lady seriously took us back the night when I couldn't breathe like I just felt like I couldn't breathe and she was just like no go back I don't see you guys sick or anything like that and I knew at that time I couldn't even like defend myself I was really in a state where I felt like I was suffocating and just like child I can't even argue with you I can't breathe right but anyway we went back and in the morning I was still going through the same thing and it got it got in really worse and that's when I really I, I said oh you know what let's just go to the hospital ourselves and we called again and there were some guys who came to pick us up and those ones at least they gave us the chance to actually go to the hospital and yeah we went to we went to the, 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 the er and and you know the lady kept giving us this the, this excuse that you know it's really busy that was the time when the the new variant wasn't that popular we were told it was close to Botswana, blah blah but it wasn't there so she kept saying what you know the new variant is close to us you know you go there the next thing you like contact it you don't want to go to the hospital right now it's packed it's what we went in the er in the morning it was like clean i literally asked the nurse I was like how busy is it here because this lady the pandemic lady just sold us this idea that we can't come here because it's packed and that man was like, you know what, I, for the for past few days it has been that bad. And I'm talking before like the numbers rise like the way they are right now. And that was the time it wasn't as bad. So I'm just like, they need to get somebody out there who's not going to be unprofessional like that lady. Because honestly, she just, ugh, she just, uh, to, uh, 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 to that point, I was okay with my whole experience until I met that lady. Because honestly, she just made me feel like there needs to be some changes out there. But anyway... We did get the help. I did go with my boyfriend the ER. They helped us that day. Got medication, and a few days later, I, I started feeling better. And after I think 15 days of going through the whole thing, I was finally okay. Unfortunately, I still had my chest pains. And by the time I asked at the hospital, the guy was saying the guy that had helped us at the ER was like, he was saying it's probably some infections that were left like that time was when I was treating TB, and I need to treat the treat that uh, separately because they're still going to continue for a long time if I don't treat it. And it's just like, it's another story, it's something else. But anyway, he did help us and now I'm just like, I'm happy, like I'm over that part at that point. So basically that's why I didn't post December, January, like I started feeling better in mid January and stuff like that. So it was just like, that's why I didn't post for a long time. And uh, yeah, that's basically why. So progressing on, and the future to see what's the plan for the future right now is just like um uh, so obviously i can't go back to work i think for a long time it's just not gonna be easy to go back to work the sale of alcohol has been stopped and my livelihood is currently depending on that because i'm a part-time student and you I don't, i'm a part-time worker while a student at a time and i'm actually paying for myself so you know how just like <laughs> how <laughs> how bad the situation is but it's just like uh, i know for a while now i can't be able to produce like the waitress content i can't produce um 
you know makeup content because honestly uh makeup needs money and money is work and i haven't been to work in a long time i can't produce mo most of the content i intended to so the plan is to actually just like right now take it easy you know do a few few sit down videos you know you know maybe morning routines because right now i am going to school i went back to ub and it's just like maybe i'll post a few there of me going to school maybe some new studying trust strategy that might help you know you know help your girl out and if you know any just like suggest in in, in, in the comments because honestly i need help like oh school be burying me alive like it's just something else but yeah so it's just like those are the content that i guess i'll be uploading and that's why i keep saying what the consistency is still gonna be <laughs> bad it's still gonna be ghetto child like it's just gonna still be ghetto i have to recover and until the whole thing is figured out and we can actually sell alcohol that's when i can get back to normal you know film a few, few videos i wanted to film and you know do some beauty videos fashion the stuff i intended to do yeah but like i'm hoping i'm hoping that's just gonna be soon because honestly like currently life is just like stagnant because you can imagine what like, uh, uh, like Ugh, just send help, send help, send help, send help as a form of money, like just send help, just, <laughs> but yeah, so basically that's just it, um, I'm just still not gonna be as fun the consistent, I'm still gonna have, you know, raw key co content, so just bear with me guys until I can be able to get this thing uh, on the road again, get the show on the road again, and uh, just keep watching the ones that are available and the ones that I will produce, which is, just be just about anything and yeah thank you thank you thank you so much for making it up to this far and if you haven't uh subscribed do subscribe and once again thank you guys so much for subscribing you know, 300 just <laughs> it's just like you know when you're going through else and else and else you get that one win and you're just like oh okay okay it feels really nice and it's just like um, it keeps me motivated to move on with like stuff in life generally and it's just like thank you so much guys and do watch out for the more videos that are gonna come I'll see you guys in the next video thank you she's a Mona Lisa